In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Storm V6, which is the new update of Storm that released yesterday. And this has a lot of fixes to Storm V5 and other things that just make it a better experience overall. So if you don't already know what Storm is, it lets you go in game in your Fortnite game and use any skin or any cosmetic in the entire game. And you can join your friends and your friends will also be able to see all of your skins or cosmetics they're using. So to get Storm, you want to join their Discord server, discord.gg slash stormfn, and also put a second link in the description if you need it. And what you want to do is go over to the downloads channel, and then click on the download button for Storm v6. And then this will download it, and you want to click on keep if it says that. So now just simply launch this file right here, and then just wait. It'll do everything automatically, you don't have to click on anything, so just wait and let it run and wait until it launches up Fortnite. And if you have issues with this process, I'll be explaining different things that you can do after I launch up Fortnite, and I'll show you guys what you guys can do if this does not work for you. So once you get to this screen, make sure you click Battle Royale. And once you're in, if it says Storm FN right here, and it says like all of this stuff right here, then you have done everything correctly. So if Storm does not launch correctly for you, there's a couple of things you can do to change this. The first one is make sure your antivirus is disabled because some antiviruses, depends on which one, some of them can delete the files that Storm uses to get you into the Storm private server. So make sure you have your antivirus disabled if you're having issues getting into Storm or your game's crashing or you're going to normal Fortnite or anything like that because that could be the issue. Another one is you can go over to the settings and make sure that down here in your running mode you're on DirectX 11 and not on DirectX 12 or performance mode. Make sure you're on DirectX 11 and then you want to make sure that you are on the latest Storm download. So make sure you're on the latest version of Storm and that should fix all of your issues. And you will have all of your friends online. You'll be able to check and see if all of your friends are online. And you'll also be able to change all of your skins and get every single cosmetic item from the locker as well. So you guys can see that we have every single skin in the entire game, including unreleased skins, of course, as I've said in previous videos. And you can choose any of these and use them as you want. And you can just equip like random ones from Season 7. So to view all the ones from Chapter 2, Season 7, just search up Chapter 2, Season 7. And you'll be able to see all of the Chapter 2 Season 7 skins right here, including the new LeBron skin, and we also got some other unreleased skins, including these Incinerator and Molten skins, which are not actually released yet, as of my knowledge. And you'll be able to equip any of them that you want. And as you can see, we also have every backpack. We got every pickaxe, every glider, and the contrails as well. And then for the emotes, we have all of the emotes that were ever released, including the OG ones and of course unreleased ones. And we also got the built-in emotes. So if you just search built-in, you can use all of the built-in emotes that were originally for specific skins, but you can actually do them on any skin that you want. And then you also have all of these down here. If you want to change them, you can get any lobby music, loading screen or any of that. And then if you go back into here, you'll be able to join all your friends, as I said before. And I'll show you guys joining some of the friends and maybe changing the skins when we join them. So you guys can see that we have joined someone and they can actually see all of your emotes and all of your skins. So if you do a skin or an emote like this, uh, they'll be able to see that in your lobby, and if you do not believe me, you can join some of your friends and test it out. And then you can put on OG skins as well, and use those next to them, just like that. And they'll be able to see all of your skins and all of that as well. Now when you exit Storm to uninstall, it'll automatically start doing a verification on your Fortnite game. So if you go to your Epic Games Launcher, go to your library or whatever, and you go over here, Fortnite should do a verification, and it should be verified within like 20 minutes and once it's at 100% you can play normal Fortnite again and you will not be loaded into the storm private server. Thank you guys for watching the video today. If this video helped you out make sure to subscribe and leave a like and I'll keep you guys updated on the news private servers, lobby bots, and anything like that and I'll see you guys in the next video.